Hello and welcome back everyone, Anth Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as Caiaphas Kane here, my Jedi Knight here on the world of Balmora once again. When we last left off, we were helping the Resistance crack into an Imperial computer system to learn more about this cloaking device prototype within the Imperial occupied city of Sobrik. We've also discovered that one of the Resistance spies is being held within Camp Conquest, and they may also have further information about where the cloaking device may be held. Before we do that though, we need to liberate Sobrik City, so we're going to meet up with another group of the Resistance and see what their plan of action is. You've got your reinforcements. Master Jedi, I'm honored you're willing to take up our cause. I'm Bek Talrat, and this is Colonel Merrick. We welcome anyone who's willing to fight for our free Balmora. I requested backup because we've set our sights on the city of Sobrik. It's currently Imperial Headquarters. How do you plan to achieve this? Colonel Merrick is the most decorated officer in the Balmoran militia, and our man inside the Empire. Our best bet in the Sobrick is an aerial assault, landing in the spaceport and surprising them. Our transport's an old Republic model. She can carry enough men to challenge the Empire. But the spaceport shield disables any non-Imperial craft, and all the false promises in the galaxy won't deactivate it. Balmor is not a safe place to fly. When you're welcome, it's safe enough. When you're not, well, you can see why everyone's fighting over it. We've gotten our hands on the Troida Disruptor, a prototype weapon that could break through Sobrick shield. The Empire has fail-safes in place, and the Troida Disruptor will only work for a few minutes. Luckily, that's all we need. But activating it requires enough power to launch a Star Destroyer. And we don't have it. The only thing that's got that kind of juice is Sobrick's power grid, the largest set of generators on Balmora. Tampering with these generators might get some unwanted attention. The men will be armed for the assault on Sobrick. If the Empire decides to bring a fight here first, we'll be ready. Now. The Empire, anticipating an attack, has positioned fully armed garrisons at each generator. If you can get past them and siphon power from the generators, we can activate the Troida Disruptor and break through Sobrik's shield. Ready your men. I'll have that power when you need it. I'll monitor the power grid from here and contact you when everything's in place. Good luck. Okay. I will open the Disruptor, bring down the shield, bring in the reinforcements behind enemy lines. Sobrik will be free, and Balmora will have hope. Seems straightforward enough. So we have three power generators we need to tap into. And while we're here, we do have some Republic forces. Okay, this time we'll sneak in through the gap. Ow! Treat the wound! Don't poke at it like an impatient Jawa! Sorry, sir. We've got company. Oh, hello there. I'm, uh, Sergeant Carness. This here's Private Anlin. We're trying to recover some Imperial intel. Preferably without getting shot. Again. Do you need medical attention? I took a couple grazes, and I, I think poor Anlin may have singed both his whiskers. Command sent us to retrieve data recorders from crashed Imperial starships. They contain valuable intel on the Empire's planetary defenses. This is insane, sir. Why should we keep risking our necks when we have a Jedi right here? A servant of the Republic doesn't shirk responsibility. I can't say I completely disagree with Anlin. Those scavengers are packing some serious firepower. Still... That information could help the Republic fleet establish a solid foothold on Balmora, bring us one step closer to liberating the planet. I'm not leaving here without those recorders, but we simply aren't equipped to get past those lunatics. Can... can you get them? You two, rest here. 
I'll handle this. I hate to have someone else fight my battles for me. I appreciate this. Ah, uh, very well. Similar to Shadow Squadron in getting the intelligence from those down ships. There are three other ships here in the Gorinth Canyon that we can pull the data from. And obviously we have the three generators here as well. Seems fairly straightforward. Question is, do we have a bonus mission for any of this? We do to defeat 25 of the Imperial forces. the data. Thank you. Might as well fight the various large groups of enemies towards the bonus mission. I have to admit, there's going to come a point when I'm level 80 and it's like, will I want to do the bonus missions? I suppose we'll have to wait and see. They won't get us any more experience, but we'll see. Oh, we have a commando also after the power generator. That's the case. We'll leave him, leave him to it. Let's deal with some more of the patrols here. While we wait, why don't we grab some more of the data here? Have to forgive me, I'm gonna have to mute myself now and again. I'm starting to come down with a cold once more. Just not ideal, but it's not terrible, just frustrating. In fact, why don't we get this generator while we wait? There, good as new. <laughs> There's all the data we require. Oh, <laughs> that commander got ahead of us. We'll let them have it. Oh, they leveled up. We'll just have to wait for it to uh, reset itself. And while we wait, 
Just pop further along the canyon here. See if there's any quests of interest. There are a few broken bridges above us. Actually, have I? No, there is. I see. Have I looked to see if there's any matrix shards here? The answer was yes. Yes, I had already. Well, Mora has a fair few places you normally don't need to explore as part of your basic mission for either the Imperials or the Republic. Though I guess they are tied to the... the uh, bonus series. We just need to hit the last power generator. Sage. What are they doing here? Okay. So we've managed to siphon the power. Now we just need to go direct it. To the Troida Disruptor. Before we go, I thought you might have been part of the bonus mission, but you weren't. Frustratingly. There. Good as new. There we are. I thought the bonus mission had been complete. I was mistaken. Direct the power to the disruptor. We have control of Sobrick's power grid. Diverting power to the Troida disruptor. That's it. Transferring you to Beck Talrat. Sobrick's shield will only be down for a few minutes, so make it quick. The Troida disruptor is activated. Sobrick's spaceport shield is breaking down. I can't thank you enough. You can thank me later. Let's get Sobrick back. You'll be the hero of Balmora when we win Sobrick. I promise you. I'm impressed. Those garrisons were tough, and I should know. I was forced to design them. Bex got good men, but they're not fighters like you and me. They'll need your help to retake the city. Enter Sobrick through the main gates. Fight through the Empire and make your way to the spaceport from there. You need a rescue? I'll make my own way to the spaceport. I wouldn't miss this for anything. See you inside. Okay. 
to the Resistance are going to fight their way out of the spaceport. We're going to fight our way into the city. And we will claim Sobrick City together. At least that's the plan. So that commando may have cleared the way for us. I'm gonna guess that commander's working towards the heroic mission right now. That would be my guess. Dead resistance members and the shuttles in flames. You've lost, Beck. Your men are dead and your ship's in flames. Here come your reinforcements. Ask them if you don't believe me. You're standing with the Empire, Colonel. Balmora will too, before long. Please, don't make this hard. Surrender or die. Those are your options. What do you get for your part in this? When the Empire came, the Republic fought, lost, and left. Balmora needs order, stability, and power to survive. Our future is with the Empire. You can't truly believe that. Help me defeat the Imperials. The Republic didn't learn anything from being outmatched. You're no different. Hear that, Beck? Your backups refuse to surrender. Don't make the same mistake. Give this for an old guy, for a colonel, he fights well, just not well enough. Hello? Please tell me someone won that firefight! The Imperials are dead. The spaceport's secure. I just hope their dead equals ours. Colonel Merrick was respected and revered all over Balmora. If word of this gets out, we'll lose face, and that means losing support and manpower. You coward. Weak and spineless, just like the Republic. The Colonel was once a hero. Let him die like one. Kill him, and put him in with the others. I'll say he fell in combat. Killing the colonel won't bring your men back. He lives. I thank you for that. Maybe you can pass some of that spine over to Balmora. Despite the colonel's best efforts, you've won us the spaceport. 
Slowbrick will be a battlefield for a few days, but we'll get it under control. Meet me back at the Troyer workshop. I'll be waiting. Okay. Without the spaceport, without the Imperials being to bring in reinforcements. Hopefully the Balmoran resistance will be able to take Sobrick over without too much of a challenge. Still plenty of Imperials and Sith within the Imperial headquarters, but... The resistance are rather uh, tenacious, so this place used to crank out top of the line weapons before the war. Uh-huh. Let's hand over the data. I managed to retrieve all of the data recorders. Perfect timing, too. Anlin just finished dressing my wounds. Not too shabby, Private. Oh, thank you, sir. Once that intel gets analyzed, the fleet will finally start making some headway on this planet. I'm glad to have been a part of it. I'll transmit this data back to base. We should be able to step up our offensive any day now. It's over. Sobrick is free. I didn't think I'd live to see it. Of course, all the talk is about a Balmoran hero turned Imperial. We look like idiots. There'll be desertions. Colonel Merrick's rotting away in a secure storage room. Once the Empire's gone, he'll get a proper jail cell. I kept my word. Winning Sobrick didn't go exactly as planned. But with the city free, people will know it's only a matter of time before they're free too. Commander Maydeen wants to speak with you. We've got him waiting on comm call. I'll speak with him as soon as possible. Balmora will never forget what you did for us. Thank you again. Okay. You know, the Commander Maydeen is the Republic commander here for the Republic efforts on Balmora. Commander Maydeen? I was told you wanted to speak with me. Solberg is free, and we have you to thank. A battalion should be in the city soon, though it'll be a long slog. You've proven your commitment to Balmora and the Republic. I've been authorized to ask for your help with a top-secret mission. We've already invaded Imperial territory and liberated Sobrick. What's left? The Republic didn't even know this objective existed until the Empire forced us off-world. The Balmorans hit it well. Let me introduce Dr. Karsiri, a scientist at the Balmoran Arms Factory. The lead scientist now, actually. Not that that matters. I don't lead armies or free cities like you. Dr. Karsiri is braver than he admits. He's working on the whole reason the Empire's fighting for Balmora. The Barrage or Planetary Defense System. What's so special about this weapon? The Barrage can destroy an entire orbiting fleet without launching a single ship. The host planet becomes an impenetrable fortress. We can't do anything to the Barrager unless we can control it. For that, we need someone who knows the weapon inside and out. The weapons designers are Dr. Meln and Dr. Ortis. They refused to work for the Empire and were imprisoned in the Gorinth Brig. What exactly is the Gorinth Brig? It's a brutal Imperial prison. Every scientist who refused to cooperate was sent there. Dr. Meln and Dr. Ortis are the only people who can get us the Barrager. They must get out of the Gorinth Brig safely. My scout Wes Durga is on the Gorinth Plateau. Speak with him. He'll know how to get inside and free the doctors. Be careful, Dr. Carceri. 
or you might be next. Don't worry. Being a real-life traitor is making me extra cautious. Keep me updated, Commander. I'll do what I can to keep the Empire busy here. Good luck. Okay. Let's have a look at this Codex entry. So yeah, this is the secret project the Balmorans are working on. And of course, the Empire learned about it. One of the great conundrums facing modern war strategists was how to defend a planet from orbital bombardment without encircling it with a costly permanent defensive fleet. Most major governments employ planetary shields as a countermeasure, but these offer no protection against dropships bearing armies, whose first objective is to destroy said shield generators. The war technologi the technologists of Balmora spent decades researching an offensive method of protecting their planet. The result is the Barrage Superweapon, a series of planetary scale turbo lasers that can target and destroy whole enemy fleets in orbit, neutralizing both bombardment vessels and landing parties in one fell swoop. For years, the primary obstacle preventing completion of the Barrage was the enormous power costs associated with such a weapon. How the engineers overcame this dilemma is unknown, but the last report indicates the weapon is nearly ready to go online. Okay. Interesting. When this is all over, you're getting a statue in Solbrick. Ooh, statue. Let's learn more about the Barrage and similar to the Hawkeye text and trying to gain control of this super weapon. We need the doctors who help design it, the researchers who are being held in an Imperial prison. The Gorin Brig, I believe, is here. This upper level to the southeast is known as the Gorin Plateau, which leads us over to Camp Conquest. What we're going to do is let's get ourselves round a bend here and to the series of elevators. These elevators are in a different position if you're playing as a member of the Empire and that came here earlier. But we have a small Republic and Balmoran militia outpost just on the outskirts of the pl plateau itself we need to talk to colonel finley of the republic to plan our assault on camp conquest and deliberate the balmoran spy and of course at the same time we have this wes burger who's going to tell us how to infiltrate the goran brig which we can see in the distance in addition, it looks like we have a side and a heroic mission available to us. What we'll do is take a break here. When we come back, we'll likely look at maybe gaining access to the Goran Brig. And maybe a few of the side missions at the same time. We'll see what's available. And then we'll take it further from there. Either way, thank you all for joining me once again with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then though, take care. Bye bye now.